Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 6th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather and world weather, natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything affecting humanity. Looking at our sun right now, we do have an Earth facing sunspot, and as well as CME to talk about. Looking here, the last 48 hours incoming. You can see on the right side there, cresting sunspot ready to come in. Outgoing here, last 48 hours, small CME ejected. Quick look here at the incoming sunspot region. Cresting. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see that CME that was Earth-facing, but in a more southern position, so most likely not directed at Earth. You can see in the spiral it is directed right at Mercury, though. Having a look here, 511 angstroms. You can see the coronal hole, Earth facing. And as well, top region there, small coronal hole developing. Looking here, Lasco 2 and 3. Showing that little bit of energy from the CME produced by the sun. And we are going through the Mercury retrograde right now. And look at earthquakes across the planet. Please share that video that I put out on June 2nd. Warning everybody from June 6th to 14th of these coming events. Having a look here at ISWA. Showing space prediction. And you can see there that small CME was... Earth facing, but looks like Mercury is going to take most of it. And as well, it is in a southern position. Most times it's Earth facing equatorial regions and events that we have to worry about. Having a look here, real time solar wind, we're sitting at about 308 kilometers per second, which is pretty low, but it's been very sporadic over the past 24 hours, as you can see there. Definitely not mainline or streamlined. Solar X-ray flux remains a little bit high into B class. Schumann resonance for today, a big power of 46, 51, 60. Definitely being smacked around today a little bit. An amplitude of 44. Having a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recently here, largest earthquake the last 24 hours, a 5.7 reported here in the Kermadec Islands, 10 kilometer depth as well. Fortuna, Wallace, Wallace and Fortuna did see a pretty deep earthquake today as well. That was yesterday and as well, Fiji 5 or 5.6 reported today. 4.2 here, South New Zealand Island, that was yesterday. Philippines seeing a small swarm today as well through Indonesia, northern Indonesia, southern Philippines, Tobilo, Indonesia with a 5.2 today. And as well, Santa Monica, Philippines seeing many sizable earthquakes today. Japan adding a 4.9 there to the last 24 hours as well, Marianas Trench. Seismicity moving through Alaska, 4.1 and a 4.0. 42 kilometer depth in there, Chickaloon, still going. And then today we had uh, 3.9, well last night 3.9, Government Camp, Oregon. So that's Mount Hood. And you look at the last 24 hours and we've seen 54 earthquakes on top of the mountain, Mount Hood. So the seismicity and action seems to be increasing across the pacific northwest heads up friends and family around the world as there is a lot of pressure mounting across the north american plate right now and west coast pacific northwest as i've been documenting over the past two weeks since it really started Last night, yesterday morning, this swarm through the Salton Sea accumulated 830 earthquakes 
in the region, in and around the Salton Sea. And I'm sure that there were a lot more that just aren't being reported here. So that was the big event to talk about across North America. And as you can see, many, many earthquakes, microquakes. 2.8 reported here. Quinlan, Oklahoma. Puerto Rico. And San Antonio, Puerto Rico, seeing a 3.2 as well. 3.3, 30 kilometer depth. Ecuador seeing a 4.2 here, 102 kilometer depth. And as well, San Antonio de los Cobros, Argentina, 4.7 at a 217 kilometer depth. Off the African plate here, Ascension Islands reporting a 5.3. So pretty busy 24 hours, really. 5.3 here reported. Iran, 10 kilometer depth. And as well, 4.5 here into the Indian plate. Tajikistan, 114 kilometer depth. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the globe, according to Walton and USGS. Have a quick look here. The last seven days, the deep earthquakes seem to be increasing. There are more of them around our planet right now. It's still expecting larger, shallower earthquakes to come. So heads up, my friends and family, and just have a plan be ready and maybe get a go bag ready that has all your emergency supplies in it and ready to go because you never know expecting a big one here right in the middle of those two big ones heads up aware and prepared having a look here at pacific disaster center most recent volcanoes to update today looking at semaru and nevadas de chilean in fuego Sinibung, Indonesia, as well as Sabankaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima, Niragongo in the Congo, Senge, Karamiski, Russia, Raventador, Ibu, Karinchi, Ebico, Dakono, and that's just in the last eight hours. And I did put out the volcanic activity report. If you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. We have an active and erupting 44 if not 46 volcanoes around the world. Looking at stormy conditions moving into Quebec, northern Ontario, and as well, lots and lots of moisture coming out of the Gulf here with this low that it seems to be stagnant. Will eventually move northeastward, but not before sucking up a lot of moisture from the tropics and dropping it all over southeastern United States. So flood conditions still continue. As well, looking at a pretty vigorous, large, low-pressure system here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Be interesting to see what it does in the long range. Very deep, lower-level trough there. Organized system. Let's hope it doesn't join forces with any other lows. We don't need strong lows joining forces. Looking here, five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, Calgary, Alberta. As yeah, it's, it's very, very cool and snowing in the foothills right now, higher elevations. And storming right across the prairies. Yesterday, Alberta confirmed three tornadoes, one in High River, one in, I believe, Blackie. And I don't believe, I don't remember where the other one was, but we definitely did have an extreme weather breakout across Alberta, Saskatchewan, and into Manitoba. And it's going to continue here over the next few days as this tropical moisture moves northward from the United States. And as well, a low developing here in Alberta later in the week. Could be an intense week for weather. And as well, the West Coast with that dipping low and developing low long range. Still very cool temperatures, higher elevations across West Coast. Five-day forecast showing rain, rain, and more rain all across southeastern United States and into Atlantic Canada. Dry through the prairies and warm. So watch for extreme weather to pop up from that Canadian system moving eastward. Overlooking the Atlantic right now, 
High pressure ridge looks like it's going to be dominated here pretty soon. We could see the Atlantic season, hurricane season ramp up. Overlooking Europe, continuing low through Turkey and parts of Eastern Europe, bringing daily rain as well. Low pressure systems here inundating Iceland and as well Norway's and parts of Eastern Europe and into Russia. Deepening low there still has lots of snow accompanied with it. Overlooking West Indies, still very dry and hot. No systems in the five day forecast here at all. No relief. Overlooking Southeast Asia, this is where all the moisture is, folks. Monsoon season, full effect. And we're going to see some pretty extreme weather heading into parts of Myanmar, eastern India right up into Nepal this week. Big low developing. Could be a cyclone or typhoon in the long range. Long line of moisture here, stretching out of China and up into the Koreas, north and south for this week. As well, watch over Indonesia and Malaysia. Developing low here through the Philippines. Could be a big nasty low or a typhoon in the long range. We'll have to see. As well, watch for heavy rains, thunderstorm conditions through Papua New Guinea this week. Some intense daily evaporation rains. Overlooking Australia, a very cool continent right now. Big low pressure system affecting southeastern and Tasmania. Watch for that to fuel in some very cool temperatures and some extreme weather parts of southeastern Australia. Wow, that's going to be a big low for you guys. Enjoy the moisture. Cool temperatures you're probably going to complain about, but get used to it. <laughs> a lot of changes across our planet. And you have another low system here that is going to be affecting parts of western Australia. So west coast and east coast being inundated by two pretty large and vigorous low-pressure systems right now across the Australian continent. High-pressure ridge building in for New Zealand for about Tuesday into Wednesday. Clearer conditions ahead after that. Daily evaporation rains through Hawaii. No major systems affecting you this season just yet. And then, yeah, big low Coming out of Alaska this week for northern BC. No systems affecting the west coast, the United States. I'm watching developing equatorial rains here through the week as well. Interesting low pressure system here developing South Pacific long range. We'll have to see what that does. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains, heavy at times through Panama, Colombia, Venezuela. And as well, big system here developing for Paraguay, Bolivia this week. Long range could see some extreme weather break out there. Hail conditions, strong winds, torrential downpours. As well with that long line of moisture coming through Argentina, Brazil border. Overlooking Africa. Pretty dry forecast here for you guys as well. Pretty cool low here affecting South Africa this week. So enjoy some really cool nights and some uh, unseasonably cool days as that low comes through. That's a pretty cold one. Other than that, no major weather systems affecting Africa. Going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern. Pointing out the big players on our planet right now. The encroaching lows to South America and as well the joining forces lows in the Northern Hemisphere. Much love everybody and thank you for watching today and welcome to all the new followers. Thank you for joining Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye bye now.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.